You may know Swiss Beats, the rapper and multi-platinum producer that's worked with the likes of Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Metallica. But do you know Kasim Dean, the art collector and painter? The first time I picked up a brush was five, six years ago. We sat down with Kasim to learn how his appreciation for art goes beyond frames on walls. I started um, collecting before I started painting. You know, I have original dollies, I have Keith Herons, Basquiat's, original walls, and then I'm like, you know, why well, spend all this money on other artists when my love is art too? And that's a whole lot of love considering he owns over 60 masterpieces worth buku dollars. I don't compare my work to, to none of those people because I didn't go through what they went through. I don't have the expertise that they had. I'm not from their era, but the inspiration is there. The music hit maker showed us how his collectibles inspired work of his very own. There was King. Inspired by Basquiat. Flow. It's just like different flows of, of energy. Victory. You know, I have a vision for victory as King and life. All skulls are not good skulls. It's like evil and death and all these different things. So I broke down different parts of the skulls that bring out positive energy about the skull and the beauty of your features. What about training? Do you have any? I was gonna take training in different areas, especially on the music side, but I felt like it would put me in a cage for my creativity. And that's, you know, the same thing as my paintings. Like, I'm almost looking at the canvas like it's my opponent, because it's challenging me to do something that i never done before. After one of Swizzy's early opportunities to get airplay as a producer, his tracks quickly turned into worldwide anthems and makes him arguably one of hip hop's top five hit masters. But where's that star power behind his artwork? It's like having a big pop song, you know, and you just blowing up out the water with no warning. You don't know how to take it. You, you know, that artist is not ready for that. They never did that before. And when that song fade out, it's like, oh, he was, he was big last year and yeah, it kind of went, I don't want it like that. I want to I want to go through the journey. And at this point during our journey, we realized the canvas isn't a simple marketing ploy for Kasim. He paints it to heart and donated his artistry to the Children's Cancer and Blood Foundation. He donated his first piece of artwork ever. The funds went 100% to the foundation, but so for like 12,000, you know, being as fresh as I am in that market, you would have probably got like 500. Please join me in presenting the 2008 Breakthrough Spirit Award Near the end of our interview, we asked Swiss, how does the art relate to his music? It shows that the music can have culture, some type of background, some type of art, some type of substance. Though humble with his activity in telecommunications and aviation, Swiss readily tells us to look out for collaborations with John Legend, Bono, Lil Wayne, and O. One surprise request. Sade, <laughs> Sade, Swiss is looking for you. I got a great team, 10 songs. I won't even charge you. And for those of you interested in collecting art, here's a Kasim Dean tip. Don't buy art for investments because then you have, you know, a bunch of art around you that you don't love. Check it out, this is your boy Swiss. You're watching NewYorkPost.com. Exclusive, exclusive. Showtime.